Hi everyone, we will look into audio in multimedia. So when it comes to audio, the uh, audio is the best way to attract attention and it is very good to set up the mood of the presentation. So how to use audio effectively? We can use audio effectively to uh, give cautions or warnings whenever the time is up. We can use it for music and sound effects to show that, okay, this is going to be, let's say you're teaching about biology. This is going to be the sound of a uh, forest where you have the bird sound and so on. We can actually use it also for uh, sound related data. Like for example, let's say the sound of a, a car engine or whenever we are teaching, uh, for example, uh, teaching about human breathing and so on. So we can use that uh, as well. So we can also use for direct voice communications. Okay, These are the uses for uh, audio. The advantages of using audio is going to be basically, it's going to add interest in our presentation and it will actually create, uh, it will show the noticeable information. So certain information that we want to highlight, you can actually use audio over there and it can help to communicate directly with your uh, listeners, uh, with your audience. Yeah, But it comes with certain disadvantages. Okay, what are the disadvantages? In order to uh, use audio, sometimes you need to have special equipment and audio can be overused. And uh, another thing is in, in comparison to visual media, audio is not as memorable. Okay, these are the disadvantages. And when we look into audio, audio can be divided into analog and digital. Analog is basically variations in air pressure and that will create the sound wave. And these sound waves can be converted into numbers in a computer. So this will be the digital. So this is going to be the difference between uh, analog and digital. But when it comes to digital audio, okay, the quality can be uh, is dependent on three things. The quality depends on sample rate, sample size, and the number of channels that are sampled. Okay, sample rate is the number of times the sample is taken. Of course, if you take the sample for many times, so of course you will have a better quality audio. And if you have a bigger sample size, basically you have more information of the sample and the quality is also quite high and quite big and better quality. So how many samples, uh, how many channels are sampled? Stereo is two channels. Mono is one channel. So of course, if you have more channels, okay, it means a lot of data is being collected. So therefore, stereo will have, uh, will give you a better audio quality. And it, when it comes to uh, the storage of data, sometimes we do not want certain data. So that is what we call redundancy. So in order to reduce that, we need to compress the audio files. So we have two types of compression, lossless and lossy. So if you are using lossless, you remove the redundant information, the data that you don't want, but there is no loss of data. So lossless compression is very great because it makes perfect copy but it doesn't actually yield very high compression ratios. In another word, it doesn't save a lot of this space. If you are using lossy, okay, the redundant data is removed, but there are certain things that, uh, let's say, uh, the, uh, the data th that is going to be, cannot be, we cannot hear that data, so it will be removed as well. And it will be only decoded, uh, encoded, whenever the volume level ex uh, exceeds a certain threshold. So the problem over here is even though you do have uh, a good, uh, good amount of a small size, but the problem is we are going to get low quality of audio. Some of the uh, example will be MP3. So we have, uh, we have to discard certain uh, original data over there. So these are the, some of the audio file formats, okay? uncompressed WAF, AIFF, and so on, you can have a look. But generally, this is going to be the discussion about today's session about audio and multimedia. So therefore, thank you. Thank you for listening. Bye. Have a great day.